Cinnaboy Downs is proud to present our co-featured event here in race number three. It's the 40th running of the R.C. Anderson for three-year-old Philly Manitoba Foles. They're going to go one mile for a purse of $25,000. Number one is Jungle Story, owned by Barry Arneson, Al Daly, Daryl Sunsback, and Cam Ziprek, trained by Don Schnell with Chavi and Chow. Number two is Floating River, owned by K5 Stables, trained by Heather Wallerstead with Adolfo Morales. Number three is Hope and Faith, owned by Black Sox Stables, trained by Shelley Brown with Christopher Husbands. Rounding out our field is number four, Tag Me If You Can, owned by Wellbeing Stable, trained by Carl Anderson with Ronaldo Cumberbatch. Following the running of the R.C. Anderson, Barry Anderson, San, from the... Tag Me If You Can, getting a little extra assistance. They're at the post. And they're off in the 40th running of the R.C. Anderson. From the inside, as expected, Floating River. Heads right out after to the early lead, Hope and Faith. On the outside, will track in second. Jungle Story secures the rail in third. And Tag Me If You Can will be the trailer. Only three lengths off the leader. They went the opening quarter in 24 and 3, and Floating River has the advantage by a length and a half. Hope and Faith now creeping closer in second. Still patient at the rail. Jungle Story in third. And Tag Me If You Can has yet to unleash her late run in fourth. They come to the half mile. In 51 and 3, that was slowed right down at 27 seconds, second quarter. Floating River still comfortably with the advantage by a length. Jungle Story now getting into gear in second and only a length off of it. Hope and Faith has fallen back into third. And from the back of the field, Tag Me If You Can is in an all out drive. Floating River through three quarters in 116 and three is now getting company in the outside by Jungle Story. Floating River on the inside. Jungle Story now is collared Floating River and she's driving on by Jungle Story. Is going to take the 40th running of the RC Anderson. Second goes to Floating River. Third to Tag Me If You Can and fourth. To hope and faith. Now entering the winner's enclosure is the official winner of the 40th running of the R.C. Anderson. That's number one, Jungle Story. Jungle Story is a Bay Philly, three years old, by Concord Point. Out of the mare, Jungle Storm, by Storm Boot. Owned by Barry Arneson, Al Daly, Daryl Sunsback, and Cam Ziprek. Trained by Don Schnell and written a victory by Chavi and Chow. Time for the mile, 143 and two. Number one jungle story was proudly bred right here in Manitoba by Cam Ziprick and Charles Fouillard. On hand in the winner's enclosure, we're proud to have on hand Barry Anderson to make a halter presentation to the winning connections. And ladies and gentlemen, directing your attention back down to the winner's enclosure, ASD Paddock host Rob McLennan has the winning connections of the R.C. Anderson. Take it away, Rob. 
Thanks, Kurt. We're down here with the winning connections of the 40th running of the RC Anderson Stakes. Chavi and Chow, we've done this a few times lately. What do you think of Jungle Story today? Well, first and foremost, it's my first time riding this filly. You know, I've been galloping for the barn, and I've been watching her, and, you know, congrats to the barn for making her, taking her here and all the job that they have done. Yeah, uh, it was a really nice effort. This filly seemed to run a lot better. This was definitely our best effort of the year here today. What were you kind of thinking down the backside when you get the what ended up being a 27-second second quarter? Well, as I said, first time riding this filly, you know, the trainer said, you know, sit and watch the pace and see how it goes. She might be the better steer. So I was pretty much confident that after they left the half mile, the leader was the one to chase. Yeah, she uh, ranged up to her kind of around the turn. When did you have a feeling you kind of had uh, floating over on Adolfo down on the inside measured? And at any point, were you worried about anything on the outside? Well, I was chasing her from the three eights, and then I got closer and closer on the turn. So I figure when this R switch lead down the lane, she should be stronger. Yeah, she ran a great race. Congratulations, Chavian. Anything else to add before we move on to Don? Yeah, thanks to the whole team, and it was a team effort. Thanks to the owner, and thank God for making this possible. Congratulations, Chavi and Don. This is a nice filly that seemed to come up with her best effort, literally when it mattered. Uh, what do you kind of think of Jungle Story after today? Well, we knew she could go a mile, and um, she was really coming around after her little ordeal. She got sick in her last race, and she uh, just wasn't quite right. But she turned, the, turned around, and now she's, uh, she's really good right now. Yeah, that was a great effort, really running down a loose speed horse. What were your kind of thoughts as they are going down the backside, and you saw kind of a crawling pace? Well, you're always concerned if, uh, the, you know, a horse gets a slow pace and you're in behind him. You know, you'd rather see something pushing him, but uh, she was enough horse she could overtake it today. Yeah, she ran a great race. So I'm going to ask, uh, what's the kind of the plan holder? Is that a question we could ask Barry? Well, I think probably Barry will answer that better than I will. So. <laughs> Congratulations on anything else to add before we move on to the ownership group? No, just, just a pleasure to train horses like that for Barry and the whole gang. So. Another nice win here for the whole gang. We'll move on to Barry quickly. This is another filly that's come through this Arnison and Daly Sunsback Zipper partnership. Talk about Jungle Story coming from last year's Buffalo win by the slimmest of margins now to this R.C. Anderson win. Well, she's been struggling. She got hurt uh, at the farm last fall, and, and, and she's been sick most of the, the season, and we're getting pretty worried about her. And then, like you said, I, when I saw that 27 sec, I thought we'd be able to run the speed down, but Summer Shadow sort of kept on going in the first race there. So I was kind of uh, you know, feeling pretty good when she started chasing her down. Yeah, she ran a really nice race, so I will ask the same question I asked Don. What's kind of the future hold for her? Well, well, we'll see how she comes back, and uh, we'll have a look and, and see what's available to her. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we'll run her wherever we think she's uh, uh, competitive. So Yeah, it was a, a nice win. I'm sure there's lots of Manitoba bread races. It's always nice to have. Anything else to add before we send it back up to Kurt? I just uh, made the trip in from the lake because it's, uh, the Anderson family has been huge for racing. They've put a big effort into it, so it's kind of nice to win when a, when a friend's uh, father's being uh, honored. And uh, So thank you very much. Congratulations to the Arneson Daily Sunsback Zipper team. Three of the last four RFC Anderson stakes. Back up to you, Kurt. Thank you very much, Rob.